Here we are unboxing the Yukon 27 inch solo stove fire pit. And uh, it's big. Mike is uh, bringing it out of its giant shipping box here. One solid piece of stainless steel. It's all right, Michael's strong with him. Super buff. All right, how's it packed? Giant styrofoam sarcophagus. Probably need two people to help you out here. Okay, there you go. That is a big ol' That thing's big. Maybe. No, it kind of came. This plastic came off. on the table. Uh, woof. That is giant. Okay. These Hi. elbows come off. Can you push the bottom, Lucas? Down. Push it down. All right, we've unboxed it. Barely. Let's get it set on the ground. We'll continue. Okay, we have unboxed it. We have placed this gigantic Yukon 27 inch fire pit. There it is. It looks like one of those Chinese like bun steamers that open and close. Okay, I don't know if it's Chinese or not, but you know what I'm talking about. There's Lucas, six year old Lucas, standing next to this giant fire pit stainless steel construction it's kind of a double wall panel here and you can see the hopper for the wood is elevated off the ground for these air intake uh, holes we have a stand on the way just in case you want to put this on the uh, grass to keep it up a little elevated but otherwise our deck our concrete patio is concrete so it's not going to melt um, there is a fire pad uh, that sometimes you can get or also the stand uh, just to keep it off a plastic deck that could melt from the heat but i think we're okay um, one of the downsides of this thing is heavy it's about 50 pounds two people need to lift it um, this will get hot so don't touch it uh, it would be nice if they had like some you know, yeah. handles that kind of fold it up or down uh, just to lift this thing because I anticipate it's going to be a little bit tough to empty it, dump the ashes, and move this around. And we're going to have to keep this out of the rain to keep it from rusting too much, right? But it's meant to get a little dirty, so don't despair if it starts looking bronzed and tarnished. The fact is, it looks really cool as a centerpiece. And I'm glad we got the bigger one just because, as you can see, our patio here. Uh, you know we have the patio set here this this looks like a bigger bonfire uh that well we could have got the medium one but this one fits the space a lot more just you know enjoying a bonfire that's not the size of a you know pumpkin or something this this seems pretty big and uh you know this looks decent enough to roast some barb or uh, some hot dogs over um, we got this as a fire pit rather than you might see our other video, the BioLite uh, fire pit. That one we can grill stuff. We just grilled some Colby on it. Uh, this one doesn't have a grill. The solo stove made a grill version of this, but frankly, we wanted this more for the aesthetic of having a nice bonfire in the backyard. So we're going to get this lit and see how this looks. Uh, so this is looking pretty cool. Right, Lucas? 
Yep. And again, this is the Yukon new 27 inch. They made it a little smaller than the 30 inch, but still plenty big um, solo stove. There's a little collar right here. You can see that just stainless steel metal collar uh, for us to kind of keep the flames within the fire pit there. Okay. Uh, they do sell a mesh grate for, you know, sparks and stuff like that. I think that's overkill for this, uh, you know, um, and the accessories and wish this did come with kind of a cover. That may be something we get. That's another like 60 or 70 bucks or something like that, that you can purchase separately. All right, let's get this thing lit and uh, see how it does. Okay, we just started the fire. So this fire is hardly even begun yet. Uh, all right, we cheated a little bit. There's a dura log in there. Um, but uh, as this fire gets bigger, some of that uh, airflow coming from the bottom is actually gonna shoot some of the uh, flames out of those little holes around the rim. And uh, that's if we stoke this fire further. Uh, right now it's big enough for our needs. We barely even put any wood in there. So you can just see that this Yukon can accommodate a lot of wood. Right, Luke? Yeah. Makes you sweaty already just looking at it. It's just going like this far. It makes me so sweaty. And this over here is still cool right now, but again, this is here, double walled. It gets you very hot. But that can be hot to touch, so just be careful for little guys like like him. Right, Luke? Should we touch it? No. Is it, dirt rock? Is it a dirt log? It's just a fire starter log. Different than that log? The wood? The wood, wood around it. Yeah, the wood around it. It's just normal wood. Alright. Okay, the uh, secondary burn phase is starting to occur. Same amount of wood. We haven't added anything, but you'll you'll be able to see. Holy smokes, the fire here is pouring out those those little holes around the rim here, and this this flame is just huge for a little bit of wood in there. Uh, highly efficient burn. Uh, less smoke, kind of just billowing out, just because the uh, flames are just so large. And even though we have a very little amount of of wood in here, again, we didn't add any since we started this, you can see how the uh, secondary burn or the uh, flames are coming around the top. So this makes a lot more efficient fire and uh, it's casting off a lot of heat. Ooh. The uh, sidewall here is getting hot to touch. So yeah, don't touch the sidewall. It's gonna burn you. A burn you. There you go. This is the solo stove in action. Uh, this just took about just 10 minutes for this. So it makes you so hot. Kids are sitting in the back here. We've moved the uh, umbrella away. It was raining a little bit here, but I figure this bonfire here will destroy any raindrops that land on the solo stove, which will sizzle and evaporate any second it touches it. But just don't leave it out in the rain because that's where. It's probably going to rust after you're done with the fire. All right, well, thanks for watching our unboxing and demonstration of the new Yukon 27-inch solo stove. We'll give a follow-up review once we get the stand, and after a couple of uh, burns, you'll be able to see how this tarnishes a little bit. Uh, but again, nobody's going to be looking at the luster of the, uh, of the stainless steel in uh, the nighttime when this thing is blazing. So, cool investment, nice centerpiece, much nicer than propane in my opinion, uh, to have a wood burning campfire, bonfire here in the comfort of our backyard and having one large enough that does the campfire bonfire justice, I think is the allure of getting the apple of fire pits i guess here what do you mean it's curving now it's stopping well, it's still it, it was kind of curving up but uh this is the chan clan and we are demonstrating this tech talk review of the solo stove yukon 27 inch fire pit thanks for watching
so one thing that we're going to try to do is actually cook some dinner on here. Uh, we got the skewers out and the Polish sausages, the sausages roasting. So just like a bonfire, you can roast some stuff on here. I don't think it's done yet. That... No, I know. It's going to fall off. Uh, okay. Shove it down. So we got our salad, got our chips, we're going to roast some sausages. And you the Yukon, still on the same wood here, still blazing. Look at that, it is toasty hot. Michael is just meltering those sausages. As they're getting a nice roast. Oh, Douglas joining the fray. <laughs> uh, you might want to go on the other side because the wind seems to be blowing towards you. So. Maybe if you go squat on the other side there. Oh, and you guys gotta be careful because that that oil is gonna kind of create a flash point. Yeah, you probably want to go a little higher. You're getting a nice black char on yours. Really, I can't tell. Oh, I can tell. <laughs> we can all tell. <laughs> nice. I think mine is pretty blank. It's okay. Just kind of rotate it at, near the top. This little kid will need some supervision here just because uh, this is kind of like a... Yeah, just eat one of my clothes. All right, Yukon dinner. <laughs> Why is that too heavy, Lucas? Look, you can just roast it. Just rotate it. Like in the fire. He's just eat his chips. Like he's just watching. Guys, this is what I did in like Boy Scouts. We used to make fires and roast hot dogs. Is this illegal? Whoa, I had like some, some, uh, <laughs> some hot grease just splash on my arm. How did that happen? My eyes are watering. Do you think this is good? Uh, yes? Probably. Got dead. Is yours good? Almost. Mine is almost good. This is an hour later. We finished roasting some hot dogs. We are letting this burn down a bit. You can see kind of the steel inside has changed a little colors. It's getting seasoned, but that's okay. Outside's kind of hot. Um, had some rain that came by, so we had to put up the umbrella, but it's giving off a nice bit of heat here. So far, our verdict's still the same. Nice addition, especially the backyard here. Can you throw it back in? Good centerpiece to the patio to enjoy together. <laughs> and it did a great job roasting those sausages that we had for dinner.